Our top story tonight, a Flagler County school bus driver has been charged with DUI, accused of driving a bus drunk with students on board. The sheriff's office says 60-year-old Mark McNeil's blood alcohol level was four times over the legal limit. West Chu's Kelsey Thord is joining us live from Flagler County. So, Kelsey, the sheriff says thankfully no one was hurt. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the sheriff's office says that this easily could have been a much different situation. They say that McNeil was visibly drunk even hours after he initially left the middle school here, and they say they're lucky that nobody was hurt. Stop. Don't hit me. Stop. Don't hit me. Stop. Don't hit me. You're not getting me. my Don't face hit again. Me. This body cam video released by the Flagler County Sheriff's Office shows the moment deputies arrested 60 year old Mark McNeil for allegedly driving a school bus full of students drunk. Let's get all the way back. Let's get all the way back. Help. Help. You You're bang right he is a complete idiot to, to be that drunk, that impaired, and now want to endanger 40 other kids an untold number of drivers on the road. According to the sheriff's office, McNeil arrived at work Wednesday afternoon smelling of alcohol. A coworker reported it to a supervisor, but by that time, McNeil had already driven off in the wrong school bus. And went to Buddy Taylor Middle School to pick up uh, the kids that he was to transport home. Deputies say McNeil picked up 40 students and began his route. School officials tell us they tried multiple times to get him to pull over using the bus's radio, but he ignored it. Eventually, the sheriff's office says school officials caught up to McNeil and managed to get him to stop the bus. When he opened the door to get out of the bus, he fell out the door and landed on the ground. McNeil was taken to the hospital where deputies say he tried to run away, but was quickly arrested. A breathalyzer revealed McNeil had a blood alcohol level of 0.32, four times the legal limit. That's really alarming to find that they hired someone that would get our kids in a bus under the influence. Now, the school district says that McNeil has been placed on paid leave pending an investigation. They do say that they are very serious when it comes to student safety. Now, McNeil faces charges of DUI as well as police, uh, excuse me, as well as resisting an officer and child neglect. Now, he also faces up to 39 more counts of child neglect. That's one for each additional child on that school bus. For now in Flagler County, I'm Kelsey Thord. Back to you guys.